Hi guys, I hope you're doing great today and I wish for you a productive week. I have uh, some planters that I have made from leftover uh, metal roofing that we used on the greenhouse just behind me there. And I decided to use them to make planters now i'll show them to you and i'll show you how i made the planters now here is number one this is a pretty small one but it works i have some pole beans that should be climbing up this pole here number two now this one's made from um, a corrugated material that we actually picked up for free. I, they may have been at a yard sale or something. So this one didn't come directly from the greenhouse. And uh, this is a type of material I'm going to show you how to use. This one is actually easier to work with than the um, one <laughs> that's on the greenhouse. Here I have two more planters flanking the entrance to the veggie garden. And if you look to the left, just above that one planter, far in the distance, you can see the greenhouse and you can see the metal roofing. You can see the red metal roofing. That's the leftover here that I've used to make the planters. Now let's move on. Here in this bed, um, the semi-center bed, it's not really centered because we're not going to make a wraparound driveway. We're going to do an L and I'm going to be getting more land to plant flowers. So that's a good thing. But anyways, this is a big one and it's a leftover from the metal roof roofing from the greenhouse and then across the way here I have another one they are great because what they do for me is give me some height in the garden and create little accents in different areas of the garden and mark my garden is still being put together but i, I think it's coming along right and so what i want to do is um, put another planter just like this one i want to put one over there across the way where we have expanded the garden so basically i just get the piece of metal that i'm using to make the planter and i measure to the size i want the planter to be this piece i basically just cut in two halves because i want it to be just like the planter i have across the way there and then i use a marker to mark a line across and just use one of these little um, tools that can cut metal sheet in to just cut it into pieces and now I am going to use self tapping screws to put the pieces together to make the planter now be very careful you may want to wear some good gloves when you're doing it don't be like me and not wear gloves make sure you wear gloves and be very careful now I have my screws here I'm using four screws and I'm gonna put the pieces together so the part that I cut it's a bit jaggedy so I'll make sure that goes to the bottom and then the smooth part that was cut from the factory will remain um, at the top so I get my pieces 
and I overlap them and just use the self-tapping screw to screw them together. Now make sure you use self-tapping screws. That's done. I'm just going to lay this down and put in the other screw. Then I'm going to fold this back onto the other one, overlap, there we go, and screw. The last screw, we're just going to put this down on the side so it's easier. Be very careful. Wear your gloves. Maybe some goggles do. Or get somebody to help. There we go. And I have a planter. So for a big planter like this, I used four pieces of metal to put together to make it and because it is this big what I did was use dowels you can see over there I put the dowels in the areas where I joined them just to make sure that it would stay together nicely so it actually the dowels actually help to reinforce the seams so to speak. Guys, if you like this idea, give it a thumbs up, make a comment, and share with somebody. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead, subscribe, and remember to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos both with lessons from the studio behind me and uh, tips and tricks in the garden come grow with me in the garden and learn some design and decor and calculations thank you so much again i appreciate you guys immensely you do have a wonderful day and week i'll see you in the next video